everybody. Uh, Ian from RTO here. Hope you're having a good Friday. Uh, all I can say, the weather is a little bit more brighter outside. It's still dull, but it was really dark this morning um, when we were doing the other um, show. Um, but the weather's a little bit better now. So final show of the week. Uh, it's the One Hit Wonder album, or in this case, a album that will not be a one hit wonder because they've got a new album coming out. We're talking about Raising Sand by Robert Plant and Alison Krauss. Really good album released in October 2007 on Rounder Records. A uh, very successful album. Uh, won the album of the year at the 200, 2008 Americana Music Honors and Awards and a Grammy in 2009 and on uh, November the 12th they will be releasing another album uh, called Raise the Roof which I am looking forward to and of course it will get reviewed on RTO so apart from Alison Krauss on vocals and fiddle and Robert Plant on the vocals we have Norman Blake on the acoustic guitar Greg Leitz on pedal steel guitar, Mark Ribot on acoustic, banjo, Deborah electric guitar, T-Bone Burner acoustic and electric guitars and a six string bass guitar, Riley Borgus on a banjo, Mike Seeker on an auto harp, uh, Dennis Crouch upright bass, Patrick Warren keyboards, pump organ and piano, and Jay Bellarose on the drums. It's a nice set of musicians, fine musicians, all in one. So the first track, uh, Rich Woman. Love that rich bass line in this. Nice, it's got a real good beat to this. It's got very full tapping. And then you've got that lovely harmony between Robert Plant and Alison Krauss. It is a great track, um, one of my favorites off the album. Uh, then we get Killing the Blues, real mellow, relaxing track with a beautiful steel guitar. There's something about that steel guitar sound I really do like. Uh, it's a song though I could actually imagine the Everly Brothers singing. Ah, that's how good I like this one. Sister Rosetta goes before us. Uh, Alison Krauss singing on her own here. Nice fiddle work of course banjo works wonderful uh, in places it sounds like some Greek folk song uh, very very good song uh, enjoy that one Polly come home this is Bob Plant on his own uh, vocals on this are super it reminds me of some of the stuff he's done on his solo albums uh, very 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 pleasant track Gone, 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 done and moved on. Great rockabilly track this is. Uh, again, you could imagine the Everly Brothers singing this. And the harmonies between uh, Plant and Krauss are superb. They, they, they sound really good together. It is a great track. It's my favourite on the album. Uh, it's on, I've got it on a playlist as well. I just love that track. Through the morning, through the night. Again, that bass line playing on a six string bass guitar. Fantastic. Uh, the, that lovely voice of Alison Krauss again. Um, I'm not a great lover of country music. Obviously, I brought this because it's got Robert Plant on it, and I'm so into this album. Um, I love it to bits, play it quite a lot. Uh, then we got Read the Letter. This is co wrote by Jimmy Page, no less. Uh, great little rocker, this is. Um, you might not mean rocker, it's not Hellbent hell for Leather. <laughs> it's a good, solid, slow rocker. Good, good track. Trampled Rose. Um, another good track this has got a mixture of cultures I think if 
starts off very Celtic, uh, but then it goes into again that Mediterranean sort of feel. Really, really good track. Great uh, way it goes from like a Celtic feel into this Mediterranean. It is a fantastic track. Fortune Teller, another great track from Robert Plant. Sounds like something that he done with the Space Shifters. If you've never heard a um, live album uh, stuff from Robert Plant and the Space Shifters, listen to it. It is fantastic. Um, then we get Stick With Me Baby. God, the guitar work on this is great. Absolutely out the top drawer. And that harmonising singing from Alison and Robert. Oh, makes your hair, hair stand up on the back of your neck. Great, great track. Then we get Nothing. Uh, atmospheric, relaxing, uh, sort of thing that Robert Plant does on his solo stuff. Fantastic track. Let your loss be your lesson. So this is a nice little country rocker. Uh, great vocal from Alison Krauss. Great stuff. Your Long Journey. Another superb track. Uh, this blends some country and some of the Led Zeppelin sound that we got off Led Zeppelin 3. Moves little touches of uh, great mixture of the music. Uh, you can fades from a bit of country into a little bit of that Led Zeppelin sound from Led Zeppelin 3 the, le oh, the harp sound is fantastic uh, good track to end the album with um, when you want a nice chilled album at the end of the day or on a Sunday morning this is my go to album uh, it's just very very good and I am so looking forward to the brand new album I've put one of the new songs in the playlist, so listen to that if you like. So, Raising Sand gets an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10, because it is an absolutely superb album. Uh, when the new album comes out, uh, of course we'll be, I'll be doing a full review of that. Looking forward to that so much. Okay then guys, that's the end of this week's programmes. Um, again it's been a really good week uh, next week I think it's going to be a, a real super week um, I did have a quick look this morning we're, ne we're nearly up to 10k views very very close um, that'll probably happen next week which will mean I might even the sooner it, we hit the 10 I'll be able to tell you what we're going to do on the live album ranking so whatever you're doing this weekend stay safe have fun uh, and just do have a great time and I will see you all on Monday take care for now